sentence of death sometimes we go through life and things get served to us by life sometimes it's generational curses they get served we get served by generational curse a certain sentence means that's how your life is going to be a statistic says if your father was an alcoholic you are 10 times likely to be an alcoholic than a person whose father was not an alcoholic and this statistic can also slip into every area of our life maybe generational curses served us a sentence and maybe a sickness serves us a sentence maybe a financial problem or a relational problem serves us a sentence and there could be all kinds of problems when they serve us a sentence and when a sentence is served means it seems like it's over and apostle paul teaches us here he says that actually in that moment something happens to you you lose something you lose trust in yourself which is not a bad thing you get that thing shaken off of you and most people when they lose trust in themselves they have no one else to turn to and so they turn to the bottle some turn to the club others they turn into sex and some just simply you know hang the rope and they just end their life but apostle paul says when the bottom falls off of my feet when life has dealt me the worst when i've been cheated on betrayed and stoned when i've been abandoned and shipwrecked when maybe you've been served a sentence even by the doctor that you have a sickness and it's incurable maybe you got served by a lawyer that your family is falling apart or maybe your child has served you a sentence and says i don't want to have nothing a part of this family and your bottom is falling off at that moment paul says we still have a rock of ages that we fall back on when your bottom falls off and you feel like you're falling down i'm gonna tell you where you're gonna fall down if you're a christian to a rock bottom there's always a rock at the bottom of every christian and that rock is not a nightclub it's not a drug it's not a marijuana it's not a bottle it's the promise of god and paul says i land on that promise in the god who raises the dead he said i trust in him to deliver me and i want to encourage every person this more this evening is that your god he's not a santa claus he's a boss he ruined every funeral including his own he messes things up people already prepared a burial until he came and messed the whole thing up and when he came into the room and the worst situation which is death and he looks at the something that you call impossible and he said this girl or that particular Lazarus he is not dead he is sleeping and the Bible says people ridiculed him people mocked him they said what are you saying this is insane to God your biggest challenge God wanted to show it to you how small it is to him how hard it is for you to wake up a baby actually you have to work hard not to wake up a baby God has to work hard not to slip in blessings unrequested for God the worst situation is as easy as waking up a baby you didn't see Jesus sweat when he raised a girl from the dead. He took her by the hand and he said her name. He says, rise up. That's exactly what you do when you raise up a baby, when she's sleeping. You take them by the hand and says, hey, come on. It's gotta, you gotta wake up. And that's exactly how Jesus treats most difficult and most challenging situation. Your God raises the dead. What you call impossible, he has a different definition for impossible. His definition for impossible is I am possible. 